Hi everybody, this is a painting I'm calling Mardi Gras. It's an open cup uh, pour uh, wrecked by a marble on a split color base, Payne's gray and white. This is how I made it. Here are my colors. I used light magenta, cobalt turquoise, turquoise deep, Liquitex's brilliant blue, extreme sheen 24 karat gold, neon green by Artist Loft, and a violet by Artist Loft. I skip forward to where I was almost finishing off the split base. The the, the base is a Payne's Gray that I actually created with um, some old Payne's Gray that I had. I ran out, so I added some Thalo Blue and Black and just kept mixing it till I got a really dark color. And then the top is Artist Loft White. Everything's mixed with Floetrol, a little bit of GAC 800, uh, and uh, that's a, all of my pouring medium is the same throughout and everything's mixed two to one paint to flow trawl maybe a little tiny bit there's a little more water in the split base than the rest of the paint so here I'm gonna get started with the open cup first I'm using the little red solo cups tiny one shot glass size seal it in with some of the base colors and I'm putting it a little further away from the edge than starting it right on the edge because I've noticed that the prettiest part of an open cup a lot of times is at the very beginning. And this is just so I don't uh, have to tilt off a lot of the pretty stuff. Um, anyway, oh shoot, I forgot to mention that that I just poured in, that white was actually, I used the last of it so I didn't have the tube left over, but that was some um, Interference Blue by Golden. And it just added some sparkle, uh, didn't leave any white effects, it just, it just added some sparkle. So I'm putting in the only color of the split base that I use as I'm pouring into the split cup, I mean pouring into the open cup, is some of the white. And that was really just to hope for some effects with the gold. So I'll just let you watch as I fill up this open cup and push it along and let the magic happen. I should mention there's not any silicone in any of this paint, any of my paints. Um, I layer the cup in such a way to try to pay attention to uh, putting opaque colors next to the metallics or the transparent colors so that they have those reactions that you can see that look, you know, the cell reactions. I have decided I am in love with that lime green. I'm sorry, neon green. And that light magenta. I normally don't use such bright colors, but I had had an event for my best friend the night before, um, who is actually in hospice now for ovarian cancer. And, and, and I was pretty down. And um, 
I uh, wanted something bright and happy and you know I think a lot of us paint for our own solace right so that's what I'm doing and I just love how bright these colors are and her favorite color is purple so that's why we have some purple in there So now I'm just going to stretch it out and see what kind of additional reactions we're going to get. Although there's a lot of good reaction in there so far. I love how that extreme sheen is playing with all the opaque colors. I've also slowed it back down to real time. I had it sped up to double time when I was filling the cup. But now just so you can see how slow I'm pouring it off because I don't want everything to get all the cells to get wonky so I'm just stretching it back and forth slowly trying to stretch out some of those cells and then decide what I want to do with the comp with the composition as I struggle with that push pin in the corner I think it falls off again but I'll just let you watch it tilt but it's slow have patience <laughs> So here we go with the marble. I wanted to break up that line that's along the, between the colors and the pangs gray and just kind of break that up and doesn't just look so repetitive down there. And I just love the swirly lines that you can get with a marble. And sorry, I'm off screen, whoops. Um, but this part is so fun. If anybody, if y'all haven't tried this, try it. But you need a larger size marble. I know some people have been doing it with a golf ball. I know Mina and some others have done it with a golf ball. I just, I have a lot of marbles around my house. And so I was able to test out and the little tiny ones aren't big enough to go through heavy paint. It's always really surprising to me though, how slow it goes. Cause this is real time and it just barely goes through there but it's so fun it just makes it easier to control and it's so fun to do I could do this all day and I and I do it 
all day. It seems like I did too. I probably, maybe I did too much, but I just, it was so fun. I just couldn't stop doing it, which I honestly think is a big reason why some of us overwork our paintings because we're just having fun. It's just a fun thing to do and it's hard to stop, right? It's hard. I think you get the best effects too when it go it crosses that boundary right there like between you know the with the bigger biggest contrasting colors that's where you get the biggest effect from a marble see how it pulls the white down into the colors and then pulls the colors into the white and you can loop over that one and and um, so here I just kind of look at it and try to decide what I want to do next because I'm not finished fiddling I stretch it a little bit. There's still a lot of paint on the canvas and I'm really concerned that it's going to not dry well if I leave that much uh, paint on there, but you'll see in a minute. Oh, there goes that stinking corner again. Sorry. But I can't leave it alone with the marble and I'll pick it up again here in a minute. Okay, confession time. I stopped the video thinking I was finished and then I was still worried about there being too much paint and you can tell by seeing how some of the lines got kind of weird because I tilted it some more. And because I didn't like the shape of the lines entirely, I decided to add some more. You know, when all else fails, just roll the marble some more. Therapy. Love it.
I clearly can't stop with the marble. <laughs> So here it is done, turned turned around so the way that I was seeing it. Oh my goodness. I just love it. These are the colors in on this side that really kind of inspire the Mardi Gras name. Lots of gold, purple, green. Look at those lines. And that green came out so cool and it dried with a lot of that um, interference color on top of that and also the gold on top of that green that made it sparkle because that that fluorescent green is not or I'm sorry neon green is not sparkly at all that's where the sparkly turquoise kind of came in and I just love how the colors all mix together and they look all the lines are just really cool and I love the way the composition, overall composition turned out. I hope you like it. I love it. <laughs>